In this video, we're going to do something pretty cool. We're going to create a Google form that adds a unique ID and sends a confirmation email to the people who sign up through this Google form and ask them to confirm through a URL. There's a lot of moving pieces, so follow along as I do this from scratch. We've already created at this point our Google form, and we're going to write a little bit of code. So in our Google form, we're getting our email and some information, that's all. We're gonna be adding this column ID, and then we're going to add a column E confirmed, and we're gonna get that confirmation from the URL click. A Lot of moving parts, we're going to have to send the email, obviously, but we, when we create that URL that they're gonna click, we're gonna have to deploy a web app. It's all in app script, so it's fairly simple execution, but it's fairly moving parts. Let's do this step by step. Let's create the unique ID for each response. We're going to have to create function with an event and we're going to add a trigger to that of when it's a form submission. So that E will be very helpful. We're going to have a variable row to know where that uh, range is. We're going to know variable UUID equals utilities dot get UUID. And then we're going to have the sheet is going to be called responses. So variable responses equals spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet dot get sheet by name responses. And there. So when we get a form submission, we want on responses dot get range, get that row that we're on, and the fourth column, I do believe, that is going to be our responses ID there. Put that in there. Set value UUID. So let's save this and set up the trigger. Triggers on the left and on the bottom right. Once we go to triggers, there will be add trigger. Choose which function, create ID. I'm going to scroll down and do on form submit. Let's save that. First time we save it, we'll have to authorize it. Once it's created, let's go and fill out this form. Let's go to Tools, Manage Form, go to Live Form. We're going to put in a bogus email for now. Carrot time. Click Submit. Let's go back and see. We have our ID. Cool. So now we have a unique ID with every single email that's sent. That's <laughs> every form that's submitted. Now we can continue with this create ID and probably we'll might rename it or we might. All right, well, what's the next steps we need to do? We've created a unique ID. Let's send an email with that unique ID. So here we'll do, I'll do mail app. You can use, actually we'll use Gmail app for this send email. We need who it's to. We're going to get our email e dot named values. And in parentheses, we're going to put the name of the value we want, which is email. Variable email equals this. So send email who it's to, email who the subject confirming our body. Let's create a variable called body and do it separately. So we'll go variable body equals. Please click this link to make sure you. And then we'll add a URL. What is this URL? Let's go up to the top and create variable URL equals and a string. This string is going to be something, but let's just do HTTPS google.com for now. This we will change later. Plus, let's add the UUID here. And let's double check that the email that we're sending when we, that form is submitted is the same email, same ID that's uh, send. Go back to our form, submit another response, email, hardy, actually we need to use a real email that we'll be able to access, Andrew test bettersheets.co. Hello, the information doesn't matter. So let's see if we have any errors in our executions. Yeah, we do. What is the error here? Okay, so it says it doesn't have the permissions. It says click here to provide permissions. Maybe we didn't Oh, it's probably because we didn't save, um, we didn't add this, I know why. If you create the trigger after you add the email, it'll authorize then and there. So let's try this again, submit another response. There's my email, hi again. Let's see. Go 
go back and see if there's any executions here. It's running, and I got an email. Here we go. Let's see it. Please click this link. There's the UUID. It ends in FFA. Let's see if that is the correct one here. FFA, yep. 1241. Cool. So we're sending an email from a form response and saying, please click this link. Well, what happens when we click that link? That's what we got to do next. So we're sending that email. So we have a text with confirmation with the UUID. We need the user to be able to click it. And what it's going to happen is we're going to find that UUID and say, hey, this person is confirmed. You could also, without the UUID, use just the email address, I assume here. Same thing's going to happen. All right, let's go and do that in our app script. We're going to create a new function, and it's specifically going to be called function do get with a capital G. This is a very special function that once we deploy as a web app, it will work as it'll give us a URL that we can use. What are we going to do? Well, in this event, actually URL, we're going to have variable UUID equals, we need to be able to parse this URL. Second. It's going to be parameter.uuid. Why is that? Well, once we get this URL, we're going to add the ID here as, we're going to say plus, plus, quote, question mark, UUID equals. And we'll have this UUID in the URL. But we need to get the URL first. So let's just look at this and see logger.log. I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to click deploy. New deployment, I'm going to create a web app. We're going to execute it as me. Anyone has access, deploy. Here's the web app URL we're going to use. So let's reuse that here in URL. And this URL, if we submit it with a UUID, we should be logging this here. So let's see if that works. Let's go back and submit another response. Email Andrew at bettersheet.co, something else. Submit. Let's go look at our email. So now we have a new email. And check this out. Please click this link. So this is the link. I'm actually going to open it as a incognito window to test it, because sometimes I will admit that weird things happen when you click this and you're already logged into your account. So we'll open it. Actually, it's going to give us an error here. I know that. We need to return something. Return 200. That's the code we need to say, hey, you submitted. We can actually create HTML service, create text. I'll put, actually, no, not HTML, sorry, content service dot create text output. You're confirmed. Let's do that. Uh, we don't need to redeploy it, but we do have to edit our URL because we want to keep this URL. Deploy, manage deployments. We have this. We just edit it and give it the new version, new URL. Return, deploy. This is the same exact URL as here. I think so. Yep, it is. All right, save it. So now when we respond, well, I wonder if it worked. Actually, let's look at executions. Do get. Here's a do get. And it should log. Let's see. We need, when we go here, we need to go to responses. We need to find the ID and put in confirmed. Let's code that as well. So up here, we will they say UUIDs list. Actually, UID list equals variable SS equals spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. We're just going to add the get sheet by name so we don't have to click that every single time or write that every single time. Responses dot get range a not a sorry. D column, so D2 colon D, get values. This is an array of UUIDs. For I equals zero, I is less than UUID list dot length, I plus plus, we're creating a for loop that says, hey, search through these and find the one that you match. If UID list I is equal to UUID, then what are we going to do? We're going to go to responses dot get range, go to the row I plus one, 
and the column, which is 5, or E, 5, set value confirmed. Let's deploy managed deployments. I'm going to give it the new version, new stuff, click deploy, done. Now let's test it. Send in an email, send in something else, and let's go look here. He should be created. Email should be sent. Here is our email. Open link in incognito window. You're confirmed. But let's see if we have put it in here. Yes. Oh, we did, but it's on the wrong row. Oh, no. Let's go fix that. That should be an easy fix. This should be... Oh, is this not right? Oh, because we're at, and looking at the seconds. We actually add two here. That should be it. Now we're done. Fantastic. So we can test that again. We got all the way through. I want to test it again and share with you some troubles that you might run into with your emails. Let's go and fill out another response. So if we use an email here that is not a Gmail account of anyone, it's going to have some issues sending, like Hotmail has some issues. Weird emails. Sometimes I would say about 5% of emails fail when people enter them in themselves. So you may have some issues there. Are you done? We're almost done. We're going to go to our email and look for a confirmation email. Hmm? Double check. We have it. It's not in our email yet. Uh, there it is. Just got there. So it took a minute. So that happens sometimes. The Gmail sending from Google Sheets doesn't happen immediately. It does have to go through Google Drive a bit. This one, we're going to click this link. We're just going to open it in incognito window. Someone else would click it normally. You're confirmed. Let's go back and double check. Confirm. Oh, it's still, you know what? I made a little bit of an error. Go back to our editor. We saved this with S plus two, but we didn't deploy it. So any changes we do with the do get, we have to also deploy. Let's go deploy that new version. Add one more row, deploy. Now it should work. So that's another issue that may come up. Again, we have the same. If you save any kind of edits to this do get, make sure you deploy it. Submit another response. Here we go, we've sent it. And we'll look for our email in our inbox or outbox. So this one's sent pretty quick. Let's look at it and be able to click it in incognito window. Again, normal people, if you're not logged in, anyone else is going to be able to just click that link and get here. You're confirmed. Let's see, are we? Let's confirm. Yes, we got the right row, finally. So we have been able to send a email when someone submits the form with their email box address, with their email address. And we're able to create a unique ID we're able to send that unique ID through email with a confirmation URL to say, hey, please confirm that you're actually getting this. And we run into some troubles, but all of your emails are going to be from your spreadsheet owner's account. So if you're doing this in someone else's account, they're going to send those emails. Emails must be sendable from any Gmail. So again, any emails that are weird or odd might not send. But hopefully, you don't run into many issues and you have fun with this. If you're doing this yourself, sending an email confirmation with a URL, with a unique ID, let me know how you do. I really want to see these out in the wild, these new automations and app scripts. Awesome. Thanks for watching.